Come on! Round one. Fight! Alright, so let me do the scoreboards. Golden Apex, Power Style. This outfit doesn't look as ridiculous when Dante wears it. It's just the size of their like feet and legs and how ridiculous it makes chaps look. break. Good anti-air from Sakura. Jump in, does not connect. Wait to play patient. Lin can make these first moves here. There we go. We DP those. Oh, missed time to neutral jump. Oh, nice. That can pressure. Let me tie this up here real quick. Ooh, back dash out of the throw. A little tap is going to do it. Neutral jumped out of it this time. Boink. There's that tap. Game one, Hikari style. Playing it simple. Moving around the screen. Don't let Ken rush you down. Don't make mistakes. Don't let some counter hit you. Nice and compact so far. Round one. Fight. Is that supposed to link? Is that last light kick supposed to link like it used to? I feel like maybe yes, but I'm not quite sure in this game. Ooh. No! There's that crush counter punish we've been missing. Super close to stun for Atari style, gotta watch it. Ooh, the throw takes it down. Round two. Tatsu from the air goes right through the fireball, lands the hit, but nothing else from it. Life just about the same so far. Very cautious play from Ken here. Something a little strange looking. Boom, boom, that's more Ken like. Do that stuff. The air to air trades. Alright, Sakura activates her trigger. Jumps in though and gets popped right back out of the air. Ooh, cannot confirm afterwards, though. There is a punish in the back upon landing. Ooh, just enough. Final round. Uh-oh. 
I feel like that could have gotten much worse. Ooh, nice little break again. Car sales on point with us. Reading his mind today. Oh. oh, not that one. Third time's a charm. Lands it, throws it into the corner. Bit of a life deficit, though. Apex needs to spend the rest of this trigger getting work done. Not gonna kill. That was a grip for just one hit. Oh no, missed time to jump. Lands right on an errant fireball. One game of peace. Ten wins. Round one. Oh no. Got lucky there. That could have gone way worse for both of them. Oh, nice anti-air. Turning in a little bit of Tatsu. Looking pretty good so far for Hikari. Honestly, I feel like the most of the work is being done by that vertical fireball. She's kind of delaying the timing, charging up a little bit, and she throws the Hadouken into the air. That's happening often enough. It's kind of just keeping Apex on the ground. He's not ready to try to time a jump in versus a fireball because it's that more often than not. That's really been keeping him honest and keeping him flat. There's nothing that Ken player wants better than to take a risk and get rewarded for it. Like trying to jump over one of those fireballs is a great opportunity. Like that. So his air fireballs are really keeping him in check mentally. He's not able to anticipate well enough and cut loose. He's in the back of his mind. He's worried about a lot of it. Which makes her zoning have been so effective so far. Dash and throw whiffs. Pressup gets blocked, target combo though. Is that not really a punish there? Is that Tatsu safe? Ow. That's definitely a punish. That one misses. Alright, activate turn trigger. Look at all that damage from your enhanced super or enhanced special versions. That really added up quick. Big lead now for Hikari. Just needs one more shot to do it, basically. Oh man, he was. You could tell both of them were thinking about it in that moment. I want to jump over this fireball. I'm like, hey, am I going to throw that? You can tell. And the guess was correct. Jumping works the corner pressure and the throw. Boink. Oh man, little crouching medium connects. Kari style skates away with that Sama round. Now wins. two to one. Feels like he kind of got away with one there. Round one. Mm -hmm. Fight. that neutral jump again. Another cross up. For EX and this time into the DP finisher. Corner pressure. Pressing all those buttons. And then we're going to back off to run our zoning game again. We're going to keep them pinned in that corner. We're going to do our damage with the fireballs. Ooh, this time's a meaty. Like kicked it for it, but couldn't get anything else from it. 
but like she would have had a, a DT confirmed there. That's what you to do. Round two. the corner you go. Ooh, nice neutral jump. Well timed. Keep a damage. Stun gauge is building. I'm serious. She warned you. Here it comes. Right. Golden Apex weathers the storm. A little bit of pushback. Not enough. Gets a round back. Looking to tie up the set. Well, nice anti-air from Crouch and Heavy Punch. Trying to keep that distance. Sakura wants to stay right back here. Oh no. Baited again. He's expecting Apex to challenge him right there. Expecting him to try to jab in a target combo or something. He's going to stay still. Either he doesn't know that's a bait or he's not falling for it perfectly. <laughs> Either way, it's worked out for him, but still a decent lead for Akari style. Not a huge one, not with the resources Ken has, but enough to sit back and fireball and see what happens in 50 seconds. So just raw jumping because the DP, crush countered, target combo, everything is on fire. Nice throw break again, though. Was is that a reaction? Was that a reaction or did he just happen to catch that little window in recovery? Holy shnikes. Either way, 2-2. Two -two. Golden Apex makes the move, puts the game on the board and ties up the set. of that. Almost got it. One more little tick at the end of the game. Ooh! Anti-air is the EX Tatsu. That's such a cool addition to Ken's arsenal. It gives him that dive kick weird timing situation. If they're used to the traditional jump-in trajectory type anti-air, that really messes with it. Did not fool there. Either that or that crouching heavy punch has enough active frames that it just stayed out there. Either way, nice read from Ikari style. Makes a good move, takes a round. Looking about even now in round number two. Ooh, Tatsu connects. A little bit of jab pressure afterward. And then back off. More than content to play a patient game against Ken. A lot of people are very scared. They don't want to get steamrolled like this. They always want to kind of keep Ken in check. Making him play defense. Four letter work Final round. Fight! Ooh, connects air to air. Neutral jump, took a little bit too long. Nope. 
I'm not falling for that trick. You're running at me, I know what you're doing. Charging up those fireballs. Throwing them in the air. It's been working pretty well so far. Stick into that. Oh no. Stay out of trouble. Uh oh. It's trouble. Mm, not quite. Oh no! Runs face first into sec consecutive fireballs. Gets tapped by one of them. Hikari style Sakura takes that game. Wins. Three two. Like that's the thing about like a life lead against Ken is you know he's going to come and take it. He's designed to come in and take it, and you really just have to kind of prey on that that aggressiveness. The character built to come get that ass. Round if you one. can defend yourself well enough, it'll be just fight. Alright, so this is the beginning of game number six. A little back and forth action, a little air top suit misses. No real superiority so far. Trigger activation into the DP to knock him out of the air. Oh no. Is that a bad input? Is he trying to like run up fireball or something and got a that jump, command jump thing instead? It was costly. And there's that running face first into fireballs again. You see, there it is again. Is he trying to go for something, or is that just a bad input? Either way, he's getting bopped out of the air for it. You gotta stop. It is not working. Right, air to air conversion. There we go. Finally got a good read against that fireball angle. Get out of here. He's my corner, you can't have it. Cross up gets blocked, throw gets broken. Good defense. I mean, that's been the name of the game. Is he knows the aggressive can is going to try to come in there. He's playing solid defense. He's keeping him out. And when he gets in, he's not letting him get away with bullshit strings. He's challenging with the, the pressure of the strings where they are bullshit. Whew. Man, that damage done. One wrong move like so. It's a wrap. Two fairly quick rounds that time. Golden Ken Apex wins. got the better of him defensively. Got through this this shield and laid that damage on real quick. So ties it back up again, three to three. Round one. Fight. Ooh. Kicked out of the air and confirmed. Well done. See, I think it might just be trying to go for that. Trying to get in the air and confuse that timing. Like we talked about with Dive Kick. She's, the jump takes her too close, and she needs to get bopped out of the air before she can enact that delay. It really doesn't matter when you get hit first. Are looking to punish? Check, check, confirm. Ooh. Pop, pop. Alright, one round advantage now for Hikari style again. Please stop that dance. We'll Please go back and reanimate it. Right, walks underneath. 
Was unable to connect anything. Air to air. Lands for Ken. Do a little back and forth here. There's a nice read on the fireball, but not quite fast enough to land. There we go. Choosing a different option this time. Usually he was expecting Ken to press buttons there and challenge it, so he's going for DPs. Gave up on that. Now he's doing throws. Now that he notices Apex has not been challenging that particular option at all, go for throws. That's a nice little adjustment. Let's see how many more times he gets away with doing that. Ooh, good throw break. What if he was thinking to himself? I can't help but wonder if that wasn't both of them thought throw at like the exact same time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that damage. Ah, ah. Alright, now that round went quickly. Disappeared real fast. Final round. Alright, the set is 3-3. Three three. They both have a round. Look at the cake. A slight lead and get within game point. All hinge on the next 93 seconds. There we go. Got him. Oh, baited that DP. Surely there's more out of that punish. Does she not have a good standing crush count or anything like that? I honestly don't know. I don't remember that point. I remember learning her combos and like how the Tatsu shit connects and that juggle. The flip into dive kick shit, but I don't remember crush counters. Maybe she doesn't have a good one for standing on the ground like that. I kind of assume she does, though, but beats me. Either way, we're pretty close to the end of round number three here. Apex has every resource imaginable to take this down. He connects one hit. Oh, but it was airborne and loaded. But the follow-up buttons and Tatsu confirmed gets Hikari style the game. Sakura wins. All right, moves up to four to three now, sitting at game point. Apex needs to win two. But we've been looking pretty tight this whole set. Could go either way still. I'm not calling anything. Round one. Fight. Pressure is mounting. Oh my god, look at all the damage it did. I got one of those two, it just doesn't do half the damage as that one. Enough to stop the bleeding though, get rid of that stun gear before it became a problem. But now there are several other problems. Ooh, nice throw in the back. Cross up land, nice and deep this time. He's not dead, is he? Oh my god, he's dead! Holy crap, that was a robbery. Round Call the two. cops. This man does not deserve that round, so he just straight up stole it. Woo! Alright, Kari Style sitting on set point now after committing that crime. Oh, we're not taking the bait, but we're going to try a jab this time. We're not going to let you throw us anymore. Ooh, that time it connected, which gives her the frame advantage to continue for free. Nothing from it, though, just a little bit of momentum. There was a DP baited out. Well, that's a little bit more damage to spend a meter, but man, I can't help but feel there's something else there. Oh, we're gonna have a crouch contest now, I guess. Just sit there. And now we're gonna challenge that cap. Oh yeah, I've got an invisible move. Let me just do that. A huge lead for Akari. It'd be pretty difficult to lose at this point, honestly. Oh, here we go, V-Trigger Cap is trying to do just that. Drops that one combo that could have done it. Oh, and there it goes. The fireball lands. Kari Style steals that round away. Sakura wins. I'm not going to call the cops on that one, but nonetheless, he comes out on top. 5-3 is your final score of this set.